swap is a derivative that requires two parties to exchange cash flows from one asset for cash flows from another asset. Let's look at how this applies when the interest rate swaps are used to convert a floating rate exposure into a fixed rate. Consider an Australian organization that has an existing borrowing of $2 million with three years to maturity. The interest rate is floating and is based on the bank bill swap rate with the interest payable annually in arrears. The organization wants to convert its floating rate borrowing into a fixed rate borrowing and decides to enter a pay fixed receive floating interest rate swap to achieve the desired result. The IRS is entered into with a counterparty, usually a financial institution, providing a fixed rate of 6% and a floating rate BBSW on a principal amount of $2 million with annual settlements for a period of three years. In the IRS, the principal amount of $2 million is never swapped. Only the net interest differential between the BBSW at each settlement date and the swap fixed rate of 6% is swapped. As the organization is paying the floating rate on the IRS, if the BBSW is higher than 6%, the organization receives the net interest differential from the counterparty. If the BBSW equals 6%, no cash flows are exchanged. If the BBSW is lower than 6%, the organization pays the net interest differential to the counterparty. The cash flows can be summarized as follows. The floating rate of the borrowing is the reference rate. The swap payoff on the fixed rate payer is the BBSW less 6%. The hedge position is always a fixed rate since this is a fixed rate payer, which in this case is 6%. Note that the hedge position shows how the receipt and payment of the BBSW cancels out, leaving a cash outflow reflecting the 6% fixed rate under the swap. The following BBSW rates apply at each settlement date, and we can confirm the actual rate of the hedged position. The actual BBSW in years 1, 2, and 3 are 5, 6, and 7% respectively. The hedge position rate is, however, 6% in each year. We can then calculate all interest amounts and determine the actual cash flows that take place as shown in the table. Note that item one is the fixed rate pair calculated as a principal amount of $2 million times the swap fixed rate of 6%. Item two is a floating rate receiver calculated as a principal amount of $2 million times the swap BBSW rate. Item three is the net interest differential and represents the actual cash payment or receipt on the swap and is calculated as item one plus item two. Item four is a floating rate borrowing and represents the actual cash payment on the existing borrowing and is calculated as $2 million times the BBSW rate. Item five is the hedge position which nets the swap payment or receipt with the cash payment on the borrowing and is calculated as item three plus item four. To recap, a floating rate exposure can be eliminated using a swap. The net effect of such a swap arrangement is that the company will have a hedged net exposure that has a fixed cash outflow.